It was 50 years ago this year that a new young president called on his fellow Americans to ask what they could do for their country. In tonight's Assignment America, Steve Hartman introduces us to a man who never stops asking and never stops doing. When most people think of the American dream, they imagine all this country has to offer them. Hey, you folks. Have a wonderful evening. But for 40-year-old Hamid Chaudhry, a Pakistani immigrant and owner of this Dairy Queen in Reading, Pennsylvania, that dream isn't just for the taking. I'm part of the society. And when you, when you belong somewhere, you have to give back. A few years ago, after becoming a U.S. citizen, Hamid moved to Reading with his wife, a doctor. They have two children. For most people, that would be enough responsibility. Make it a meal? But Hamid wanted more. He began with Kuru Elementary. Well, hi, Alexa. Offering his services to school principal yes. James okay. Watts. And I looked at him like, wow. Here's a, here's a guy, I mean, truthfully, businessmen in this day and age are not coming to schools and saying, what can I do for you? Chocolate here, strawberry there. What Hamid offered was to host the school fundraisers. He eventually began fundraising for other organizations as well. A lot of ice cream for every kid. Soccer teams, crime stoppers. Every night it seemed Hamid was sponsoring a different charity. He split the proceeds 50-50. Beth Stanislausik is former president of the Kumru PTO. A lot of times, too, he is extra generous in what he gives you because you think, now, how did we make that much money tonight? <laughs> but he, he gives you more than you made? Oh, yeah. He's, he's been known to do that several times. Do you have a problem saying no? Could you say I, no? I can, but I prefer not to. Help oh, yourself. Yeah, All told, Hamid has said yes to more than 100 community organizations. And that's not even counting his individual acts of charity. I wasn't even thinking that anybody was going to help me in any way. I was thinking I'm not going to be able to pay for my husband's funeral. And, you know, then he steps up and does something like that. When Alicia Paggerly lost her husband Kyle, a deputy sheriff in the line of duty a few months ago, Hamid was the first to step in, throwing a fundraiser to cover all her expenses at the time. He gives you hope. People like Hamid definitely helped me to, to believe they're still good people. Dressing. And yet, Hamid is convinced he's the lucky one here. I'm making an honest living. I'm part of the society. I'm raising my kids. I'm practicing my, my, my faith, being a Muslim. So I'm able to do all those things in this great, great land of ours. And when I say God bless America, I mean it from the bottom of my heart. I mean it, God bless America.